to the tefillin. We get to what? The tefillin stuff. It's about, oh, the Itai. How are you, Itai? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, well, depending how By much the way, was... I was going to write on the chat, Chas v'shalom, they should tune in for an extra five minutes. Maybe we should pause <laughs> and then give everybody five minutes to log in and say, okay, we're done with Erevin. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I can't blame anybody. But, uh, <coughs> yeah, it's, well, it's quite interesting that tefillin, the, where there's no Masech that you'd think Tefillin you put on every day, right? You think there will be a masech to tefillin? Well, there's only one pasuk in the chumash that doesn't tell you anything. That the stuka <laughs> muse. So like, that, okay. So then I'll ask you. There's not a pasuk. There's no pasuk at all about Erevin, and look how big it is. Right. Ah, there you go. Okay, good. Yeah. I'm, uh, <laughs> Oh, Avrami Vegas, I keep meaning to tell you from two days ago that, uh, yeah, you would, you, what do you call it? What do you say? The diaper genie, you would be able to make brachas in the room with, in the, with the, if the diaper's in the diaper genie. Yeah, that's without a doubt. I meant to tell you that two days ago. I thought also so, about sending. Now I have sending to get a diaper back. genie. Now you got to get a diaper genie. That's something else. <laughs> I don't know if Landau fits in the, like, I don't know if Landau fits in a diaper genie though, but whatever. Yeah, I got to get a kid that needs one. <laughs> Listen, I've his kid, his it. kid, I'm, his kid is my hero. So you know, don't start up with his kid. His exactly. Kid. I, I think also we should try to. I think we should try out. to get Landau in a diaper genie. I think that's a challenge. <laughs> yeah, right. uh, let's yeah. make a GoFundMe page for a diaper genie, and then I'll get in it. There you go. There you go. Anyways, no, but it's interesting that the sugis of Tefillin are in Menachos and Erevin. Those are the two. What about, Sha- what about Shema? Writing Shema and Mezuzah, Sefer Torah, is there anything? That's all in Menachas. All in Menachas. So that part of Kachim is, is Gishmak. I'm saying, I'm not saying all the Kachim is not Gishmak. I know the Gemara from a month ago with the, with the saying that. But uh, Okay, so let's let's just quickly chaz from yesterday. Um, uh, You're muted, Siakov. You're muted. Yaakov, I muted you. I muted you, Siakov. I'm sorry. Thank you, Halavai. You should do it more often. Machlaik is Robin Shmuel. If, uh... oh, one second. We have to do our usual nightly Thursday night fight, right? What's the deal with Matzah Shabbos? Oh, my God. 6 10, just for Orlando. What time <laughs> tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow, I think. Uh... Well, what time is Licht Pension tomorrow? Three. Uh, <laughs> right after right after this year now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, tomorrow is what? Tomorrow's Friday. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 420 Almost, is lift pension. Almost is 635. 420 is lift pension tomorrow. So as long so as Abu Subhanim usually. 40 minutes. So why don't we have share at eight o'clock? Eight o'clock sounds fine to me. If that's okay with everybody else. Landau? Yes. Now, now I can get on board with eight o'clock. Yes. There you oh, go. Now I see how it goes. If anybody's interested, I will be giving a Hilcha Shabbos here around five minutes after Havdallah. For anybody that has a need to go to a shir five minutes after Havdallah, I could, I could get, I could put it on here if there's any interest. But it's Yishif Rockway. Leave it up with Yishif Rockway, guys. What it's Yishif Rockway. This matters though. But uh, okay, so tomorrow ten to four, Bez Hashem. And uh, and what's the shop is eight o'clock. Yeah, I think we'll probably just keep eight o'clock throughout the throughout the winter. Sounds great. Shabbos, yeah, except probably what's the shop is Hanukkah. As Hashem, uh, probably if you, I don't know what we'll do then. Okay. Anyways, so got my chleikas Rav and Shmuel. If an era falls down on Shabbos, if it maintains, if it's still kosher, which we're going to continue tonight, right? And uh, um, if the wall falls down, if a wall falls down, we should say, Yochid, I'm sorry for those that are burnt out of Erevin. We're just going to chazim, just uh, right, a couple of more minutes. If a wall falls down, um, if that's considered Rosh Hashanah or not, that's the Mishnah. And um, and then we had two ways of understanding that, is that, that a, a, it's a, according to all opinions, the person's whole entire yard does not become Rosh Hashanah, just whether it's the side of the yard or... Uh, or they, or just um, if the people happen to make a path, like they made a shortcut through the yard. Um, 
Yeah, then and then again, Machloik is if the Eira breaks on Shabbos, if it's still kosher as the Shabbos. And then we said the, um, when the, the breaks are in the corner, I mean, on the corner of a house, right? When you have the corner of a house, that's when, uh, that's where the Eruv has to be less than 10. Even if it's less than 10, tfachim, nobody makes a door on the corner of a house, right? And then we had Machloik is Rabbi Shmuel, when you say Pitikra or not, and whether you say it a, a more than 10 amas, less than 10 amas, and then whether Rabbi and Rav have a machlokes or Rav and Shmuel. Okay, so that leaves us right by the two dots on Tzadi Hei Amir Aleph. Rav Yaisi Amir Im Mutarin, right? So we had said that if the Eru falls down on Shabbos, it's still good for that Shabbos. And Rav Yaisi said, if it's mutter for that Shabbos, it's mutter forever. If it's usher forever, it's usher for that Shabbos. So it was, it's a little unclear exactly what he's referring to. So meaning, is he, does he mean to say it's usher or mutter? So he bailu, Rav Yaisi, lesser or lehater? Is Rabbi Yossi um, saying that the Arab is also for the rest of Shabbos or it's mutter for the rest of Shabbos? So Rav Sheish is lesser. He meant to say also. It's also also. Right? Just like it's also forever, meaning for the next Shabbos. So then that Shabbos is also also. So basically what he's saying is if your Arab falls down on Shabbos, you cannot carry in the Arab. Itmar Rav Chibar Yosef Amar Halachik Rabbi Yossi. He says, Allah is like Rabbi Yossi, and Shmuel, Amar Allah is like Yehuda, Allah is like Rabbi Yehuda, who says that the Erev is good for the rest of Shabbos. So which way do, which way do we go with it? What do you say? Tzadik K. Can you hear? Tzadik K? Tzadik K, yeah. Now by the first wide line of Tzadik Hamad Aleph. We did a little extra last night, because tonight we try and do an omen and a half, so that's why we went a little further last night. Then. So me, Amar Shmuel, Hachi, the first wide line. Did Shmuel say this? Right? When did he say that the halacha, that this halacha is if the Eruv goes bad, that's by Eruv Tchum. But for Eruv, I'm not for Eruv, for Eruv Tchum, you're allowed to make an Eruv for somebody, right? Um, because uh, you're not, I'm sorry, you're not allowed, by Eruv Tchum, you're not allowed to make an Eruv. To somebody without his consent, because he's going to lose from one end to the other end. You're allowed to put somebody in an Arab, whether it was done with his knowledge or without his knowledge, because you can't, you can do a schus for somebody even not in front of him. Right? So again, yes, no. And you can't be mechaiv to somebody when he's not there. So when you make an Arab tchum for somebody, He's losing, he can only walk in one direction, not the other. Anytime we teach Rabbi Yehuda and Erevin, the Lach is like him. Even if it's a Mavi whose who's beam, right, we're going way back to the beginning of Erevin. If you have a Mavi, right, there's like a dead end street, in order to make it Mutter, you put a lechi or a kaira, and if that lechi or kaira falls down on Shabbos, Rabbi Yehuda says it's mutter. And he said, I said this to you by Erevin, but not by mechitzas. Right? Um, which means that he's saying that we don't pass in like Rabbi Yehuda. So basically, we have a stira. Do we pass in like Rabbi Yehuda by the, by the mechitzas falling down on Shabbos or not? So, I'm Ravana, Lididime, Farshalim, Ineid, Shmuel. What Shmuel meant to paskin like Rabbi Yehuda when the Eruv that fell down just borders on a Carmelist. So the whole thing is the Darabonon. So since it was Mutter for Shabbos, we contain we we continue it for the rest of Shabbos. But if the Eruv opens up to Rosh Hashanah, then Rabbi Yehuda we would say we don't paskin like Rabbi Yehuda, and therefore and you would not be able to carry. Either way, we don't paskin like Rabbi Yehuda. We paskin like Rabbi Yosi, and if an Eruv falls down on Shabbos you are not allowed to carry, right? So it becomes a whole issue. Let's say the Erev Taka goes down on Shabbos, right? What do you do? You see somebody walking in the Erev, or like Avi Santego, we see somebody walking outside the Erev on the boardwalk, right? So what do you do? Do you just go over them and tell them? What are they supposed to do? If the Erev's down, down, and you know it's down, but they don't know, why should you tell them? Exactly, exactly. So what you should, what, what, what most police can, as far as I know, say to do is wait for them to get inside the house and, tell them. and then you tell them. 
So basically, if somebody's carrying a baby and and he walks into his friend's house, tell him once he gets into his house? Yes. Yeah. You can't. Once they're in the house, you have no head to not to tell. You got to tell them. What if you don't want them staying there the rest of Shabbos? (laughs) Then you got a problem. Then you got a problem. Yes. You got... (laughs) Yeah, so you're a lot of good. You, so you go out. Uh, That's right. Go to Tzviyakov Shir. That's right. You become a big masmid. That's all. You become a big masmid when these things happen. If somebody's going to his friend's house, he's going to a friend's house with with a with a baby, and she needs to feed the baby in 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 her house. Is it better to walk her? let's say another block to her house or just go straight into that? No, you should, what you should do, I don't remember where I saw this, but if you, even if you're walking by somebody you don't know, you should call them into the the house and say, hey, I need you here a minute, right? Or whatever. It's, it's like, whatever, get them to come into the yard or the house and then you tell them, that's it, the Arab is down, you're stuck. Is that the same with shotness also? No, what do you mean? Shotness is a shy if somebody, look. If somebody's wearing a beggar that you know is shot, if somebody's walking with, uh, I don't know, whatever, uh, you know, I don't know, whatever yeah. beggar that you know is shot. Right. Like, you're not supposed to tell them right away? I well, thought it's the, the opposite. The, I thought you were supposed to tell the them right away. The, the and they they take take it off in the middle of the, in the, middle of the street. Yeah. No? Can you hold the yeah. thing by your mouth so we could hear you? I can't hear you. It's like, you want, you are you joking? Say... When there I held it like this, nobody was able to hear me. That's <laughs> right. So I want to hear you. Yeah, I think it's time to get a new somebody, headset. Listen, somebody wants to actually listen to you. You no have stuff to, be... to say. I want to hear it. Oh, okay, <laughs> so so I, I, sometimes people are sarcastic to me. I don't know. <laughs> um, is it? Is it what I'm saying shotness. I thought you're supposed to tell them right away. So why is this different than shotness? Because it's a darabonon versus a dara. First of all, it's a darabonon, and they're not. Uh, well, first shotness. of all, I mean, I don't know. Maybe shotness. You can also do that shotness if they're gonna have to get dressed. undressed in the street. I thought shot is covered a bris, you know. It's a, it's a, it's a whole, yeah, it's a whole thing with covered a bris. Do you, do you, do you not? Depends. It's the rice, the rabbana, whatever it is. But uh, well, yeah. It's carrying in it's... the street in, on Jarvis. It's a derice or the rabbana? The rabbana. Everything is the rabbana around here. Right. Everything is, is the rabbana. A, so is there a mitzvah to tell them? Yeah, you can't be over the rabbana, but they're a misasik. So they're not, they, when they started off with the malacha, they didn't, uh, they didn't do it on purpose, and they—I mean—they were—they were doing something better. Then they found that that's better, right? The other option is not to stop; just keep walking. Don't don't stop them. If you're going to tell them, don't stop. Just keep walking, right? Like this. There's no hanocha, and then they stay. They don't stop until they get into their into their rishos. So then you can just walk them home and keep walking and just say, "Keep walking." I'll tell you when you get Correct. to your house. Correct. You could do that. That would also be an option. Yeah. A, a big storm. Are we to assume the air is down? The basic rule with the air of at least in Farakaway Lawrence is that if there are branches, decent sized branches on the floor, then the air of loses whatever chazaka it has. That that's the basic rule. It's very rare that you have that, but uh, that that's up until that point, then uh, you don't have to stop using the air. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, that, that other week where mm-hmm. oh, what did you say Binyam? i couldn't hear you that storm the other uh, a few weeks ago a bunch of weeks ago right tons of trees came down and there was sidewalks right. that were uplifted right I, right remember that There's yeah still in the There's summer in the summer up. yeah so yeah but it wasn't on it was on shabbos why do I feel like I remember it? No, it was Tuesday. It was the middle of the week. No, it was Why? early in the week, and the Arab was up by that Shabbos. If that yeah. storm happened yeah. on, on a Friday afternoon, or in going into Shabbos, would you have to assume? Yes, you would have to assume the Arab is not good. Yeah, if you see such big branches and stuff like that, you'd have to assume the Arab is not. Certainly in the five towns, Arab for sure. Their Arab is a whole. Their Arab is is when in the storms is not as reliable as ours. Just they have a lot, a lot more wires than, than we do. We have a lot, a lot of fences. So our area, the bigger issue is, is the repair people knock it down. Not, not so much weather. You have to know each area has its own, has its own uh, um, things. So ours is more See, re- repair people. Yeah. And Tiago, I, I, I missed the, the hack about Rabbi Huda Shita in general, but Rabbi Huda Shita holds that Kivan Chahutra works even though in Matthias there's no machitas. Well, that's what the Gemara says. 
Um, I'm saying, says, what does that, what does that mean practically? He says, Erev and Amarti Loch, the Loib and Mechitzas. Right, but that's only, that, that's that, a, but that's but not, no, that's but about whether we Paskin like him. Right, I'm saying, Rabbi Yehuda holds that, that Kiva Jehutra works by Mechitzas? Yes. yes. What does that mean? Like, Don't we say, uh, you say in general that on Shabbos, if a Mechitza goes up, we just say, the Matthias is a Mechitza here, so it works. So shouldn't, how does Rabbi Yehuda go for a carrot? That, that if there's no Mechitza here, it works also. Right, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Once it's once it was mutter for that Shabbos, the heter the heter sticks. But I thought mechitzas are always tali and mitzias. Isn't that we what we always learned when it came to? That's Arabs what. That yes, that's why I understood it. But it seems it seems that I wasn't buying into his shita so much. But it seems that he would hold that anyways. We have another. We have a way where we do paskin. So does he was, go lechumra? Does he go lechumra when it comes to mechitzas going up on Shabbos? What do you mean? That if you he's mean not that he holds once it's also in the beginning, you can't right. You can't be what I mean is that he's not totally in Mitzias, so if, if right. Mitzias wasn't there, I, I don't know. I, I just it right. should go both ways then, right? No, fair enough, right? I hear that. I, I hear that. I wasn't mind it to enough, but we do have a place that we do passing like that. If you remember by uh Shiora, if it starts off with three people in it, right, then they could have it as big a, a big uh, area as they want. And then what happens if one guy dies on Shabbos? Right. right. So we right. Say once it's mutter, it's mutter, even though. But I can else. hear that more because b'metzias there's still some error. No there's still some yeah. That's more like that's more. Uh, it's all relative to, to the yeah. people. It's not. It's not the etzim. Here, there's no mechitzas here. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 a hard, very difficult sheet to, to understand. Okay. Let's go. Zok the Mishnah. Yeah. Habayna ali al gabi shnei baten. You build one house on top of two houses. Bechen gisharim. Right. So basically, you have two houses. And then I'm sorry for doing going back to the charts or whatever. Two houses, the well, last case here. Two houses and then one house in the middle, right? Meaning there's a tunnel basically under one of the houses. And then the same thing would you have uh um what's a gesher uh bridge that's that's open from one end to the other. Basically, a homeless guy lives under the Ella, you know, the by the inward station. The bridge, the bridge. Under the bridge or the inward station. You can cut under the inward station. You can carry under there, right? If you go under the tracks. Yeah, there's guys that walk there to inward shoal. They go right. from the back. So, right, so right under there, if there's no Arab, you would, according to this shita, you would be able to carry. According to Rabbi Yehuda, you'd be able to carry under there. We'll see in the Gemara why. If the Chum say you're not allowed to. You guys can make Kiddush there. Leave a bottle with some... Some designers you can make Kiddush. Yeah. Nobody uh, will I know. think with the chaver that hangs out there, I don't think that bottle's going to survive. I'm sure there's plenty of bottles down there already. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're all empty. They're all empty. You can always drop a bottle up in my house. I'll be happy to hold it for you. Uh, there you go. Okay. No, there you, you have a uh, problem with an Arab right on your corner. You have a problem over there. Yeah. Then they're going to say you're starting a shul, Marchuk, so watch out. That's yeah, it. you know, you know that these things happen. But, uh, you know, I'll <laughs> hold the bottle. I didn't say I'm going to keep it for you, but I'll hold the bottle. <laughs> I hear. Okay. But I'm Rabbi Yehuda. Marvin Lamavu. I'm a foolish. But Chacham Aisim. Rabbi Yehuda says that you're allowed to make an erev to a mavu that's open, and the Chachamim say that you're not allowed to make an erev there. Meaning a mavu a foolish means it's got two walls and it's open on either end, right? So which we know that you're supposed to put a lechi and a kaira there, uh, and just not have it open. But Chacham, the Chacham say it's us, and we pass like the Chacham. Fine. So I'm a rabbi. Like time out of time, the Rabbi Yehuda Meshum the Kasavar Beis Mechitzas Deraisa. Don't say that the reason why Rabbi Yehuda says that you're allowed to carry under that bridge is because two mechitzas are there, right? And you have two mechitzas there, right? You have either one of the things holding up the bridge, right? No, because he holds, right? Well, one last uh, hurrah for this one, right? The edge of the roof, we look at it like it goes it goes down, right? So, Abaya has the kasha, yes, or al came. More than this, somebody has two houses on two different sides. Which is, I think there's at least a fifth or sixth time we had this, this Gemara in the Masechta. Right? A guy, yeah, a rich guy, he owns two houses on either side of the street. And he wants to carry across the street. So I saw Lechi Mikan, Lechi Mikan. He puts one Lechi here and one Lechi there. I cut a Mikan, I cut a Mikan, or a beam there and beam there. And he can carry in the street in between his two houses. They disagreed. They told him the Chachamim told them back and said to Rabbi Yudin said, "No, you can't make an error with this." Amalei, may he in so what do you see that he does hold 
that in between two walls is is a rishus sayyachid. Just two walls is enough to make a rishus sayyachid, right? Amar lema he in mehal lekel amashmina. Yes, from there that gemara. Yes, you do see that Rabbi Yehuda holds that two walls makes a rishus sayyachid. From this mishnah though, you can't say anything from that because our this mishnah is talking about pitikra, not that two how two walls make a rishus sayyachid. The mission is also medically that because it's only v'oid, right? It says v'oid. V'oid Amar Rabbi Yehuda Marvin b'mavi am a foolish v'cham a wisein. It says and another thing, Rabbi Yehuda says that you can make an air to a mavi that's open. Iyar fisham am a shum because our pitikra you have a sizeim. If he if you say the first part of the mission is talking about pitikra, hainu the katani v'oid. That's why it says v'oid. Eli iyam am a shum because our shtei mechitzas deraisa. But if you say that the, the first part of the Mishnah is talking about two mechitzas the raisa, my va'oid. What do you mean va'oid? It's the same case, right? Shema you know, Meaning, there's two cases in the Mishnah: carrying under the overhang, over the uh, under the overpass, and that a mavi, I'm a foolish that it just has two walls. You can carry it. If you say that they're both just talking about Rabbi Yehuda saying that two walls makes the rishus hayachid, then why do you need va'id? Va'id sounds like it's a new case, and they're both saying the same thing. But if you say the first part of the mission is talking about pitikra yoyer besaisim, and the second part of the mission is talking about two houses making a two walls making a shayachid, then that's va'id. So there's two different cases that he's saying. Shmami, you know that's what it is. Okay, hadran alach kol gagos. Fine. Now the, this Mishnah starts off with, and we have we discussed it once before. But if you find tefillin laying in the street. On Shabbos, without an eruv. So what do you do, right? So first of all, the Taisus is very interesting. The Taisus Hamaytzi Tefillin says, "Hach Pirka the first Taisus there. Hach Pirka b'Masech the Shabbos Havali l'Misni Gavah Yotzos." This this uh, Gershon Yukasha from two days ago was a little premature. Here Taisus is asking it, right? It should have said this in Shabbos by Hitzos. This has nothing to do with Erevin. Hello, Mishnah Bektani Sefer, Rabbi Yehuda, I'm a nice and Adam lechaveroi, vechaveroi, lechaveroi, vafilu chutz letchom. Fascinating answer. Because there's one line in the Mishnah that mentions the word tchum, therefore they put this parak in Erevin. Right? What is, I mean, what's the pshat in that? Because there's one, one sentence that re- references to, to Erev, so therefore we put it at the end of Erevin. And that, or in the end, Tyson says a second shot is because at the end of the parak it discusses Erevin. But uh, that's the only reason why this is in Erevin. Otherwise, it should be in, in, in Shabbos, this, this parak. Yeah, maybe they wanted to make sure none of the guys leave when we started learning Shabbos. They put all the words of Erevin in one place, in one location. Because already in the Shabbos. So. I hear. I, or I was thinking maybe this is like, you know, to get. You know, settle down before Psachim to regular Gemaras, getting out of all the all the math or whatever. Okay, either way. So anyway, or to so show the Khazar is very important for Daf Yomi. Well, that's true, yeah. I you finish that. Erevin, go back to Shabbos. 100%. Very good. Very good. I think your Pshat is the best. <laughs> all right, so Zok the, Zok the Mishnah. So I might say Tefillin. If you find Tefillin, Machnis on Zug Zug. So you take it in pair by pair. Right, meaning a shalyan and a shalroish. Right, Rabbi Gamliel, I'm a shnayim shnayim. No, you could take two pairs, two shalyans and two shalroish. The medvar will be a shenus. That's only if it's old tefillin. I will be chadoshes, but if the tefillin look new, then potter your potter, which is a very interesting word. What's the pshat? It's saying potter. Potter. What's potter have to do with this? No, but you just say don't don't carry it in. Meaning, let's say I see the tefillin on the floor. Should what do you say? Should say also. It should say uh, yeah. It's potter al also. If that's true, it means potter al You can't you can't do it. But what's pshat potter? Meaning, what it's okay if you cut it back to the first line in the in the Mishnah. If I see these tefillin laying on the floor. And I'm not, I, I'm, I don't want to be machmer. I don't want to do this shtick and put on tefillin on Shabbos. Oh, put on tefillin on Shabbos? Am I allowed to not do that? Or I'm a chuyiv to put it on? Right? Sounds like from this word potter, that if you see tefillin laying on the floor on Shabbos, you're a to, you're a to put it on. Right? And then so therefore... Somebody... 
Because Somebody I, never had bris mila, so he need, so it's an ice by him. So it's, so he's then he should be a mutter to put it on because he needs the ice. Yeah. You mean okay? You mean the, with the new ones? I hear. Yeah. I hear. Um, yeah, but uh, See, what's the reason why he has to pick up the twelve? He should just leave it there. That's what you're asking. That you know, it sounds like if you let's say you don't want to pick up the tefillin, I don't care. You know what I mean? I'm not, I don't care. Tomorrow? What? What's it? Machnis and zug zug, right? You see a safe and tight on the floor. You maybe want to leave it there. Well, no. If it's That's during different. the week, if it's during the week, you, why? Because the safe tower can get ru- the, the clock can get ruined. It's different. Well, than that's true, but the outside of the building, building is yes. protecting the clock. Look at the Russian. I looked at the bottom. It says yeah. that. Okay, let's go. Um, no, but let's say let's say it, no, but let's say Shabbos, and I mean, you know what? I'd rather keep Shabbos Kiroi. I don't want to pick up the tefillin. Right, uh, right. Sounds like from this well, mission. What's the what's the shayla? Why you you should leave the tefillin on the floor? The kedusha doesn't matter. Yeah. If I see the same thing, I can leave it on the floor. So, Zeb, it's no. What's that? Why is the, why is it not keeping Shabbos Karoi? If you, if you have, if yeah, you, you have, muted yourself about. If you have a Zeb, who said it's on the floor? It's on a mamish a picnic table on a right. oh. lovely picnic table. It's not on the right. floor. That's a good point too. That's a good point, right? It doesn't necessarily. Rashi, I might see Tefillin Besada. Yeah, no, because you're afraid it's going to get lost. You're afraid what? it's going to get ruined. What? It's going to get ruined. But Mark, ruined, you know, ruined, either one. Ruined or this or that. But it's a suffix. Well, you, you, you can't leave it there. So that's what I'm saying. The mission is, you're chayiv to put on the tefillin. You're chayiv. But that doesn't mean you're b'chal Shabbos. That's what your Shabbos is. Good, but good. Let's say, but let's say you don't want to. Let's say you don't want to. So if you have Are you chayiv to go I back on the second thing? You can't get the other pairs? I asked, I asked you a question. Are you chayiv to go back the second, the second time, the third time to get the other pairs? Are you chayev to you? Sounds like you might, yeah. Sounds I'm like saying, you, you can't just do it once and then say I'm done. You have to go back and do finish the job. I, it's a good, it's a good question, but I, I yeah, it's a good question. Am I allowed to, again? Am I allowed to, if I see a safe attire on the floor, am I allowed to say I'm not interested in picking it up? For a Shabbos, you know, it's, too much, it's not too much to say for Torah. I'm asking so what, what you, you, I'm you Shabbos, you're talking about Shabbos? what he's I'm talking Shabbos. about with the tefillin first. What's the tefillin? No, Shabbos. You talking about on Shabbos? Yeah. We're gonna see later. It's not poshut that you could save a t- uh, safer Torah if it's on the floor to carry it. We're gonna you have see to later. wear the safer Torah. Well, no, it's gonna. We're gonna see later that it's really not poshut. It's the next Mishnah what? or the Mishnah. Why, is, that, this any, why is this any worse than the case we talked about the burning house? Yeah, uh, very good. You Muhammad the Gemara's kasha. Gemara's gonna ask or, that. Kasha. Or the or in Shabbos we had this case in in Masechah Shabbos, didn't we? That what to save things? It's it's filling specifically. It's yeah, yeah. This the is floor, the case. Right? This is the Gemara. Yeah, this, this is the Gemara. Gemara. Right. This is the Gemara. Right. Very good. So so no, but I'm saying from the Mishnah that saying your Potter, if it's old filling, if it's new filling and not old filling, by the Mishnah wording it that your Potter, right, sounds like the in the first part you're chayiv to do it. You don't have a choice. You have to try and save these filling. Right? I'm Tiak of the the Ritzvah brings that down. The, the contrast between Machnison. He actually says Machnison doesn't actually imply that, but Putter shows that Machnison means not just that he should, he, that he, it's that he's, he could, um, he should. That it's actually he's Machoyer's too. Oh, yeah. Okay. Very good. Varsha Kivanti. Okay. Good. Very good. Thank you. Okay. So, anyways, so so far we have a Machlaikis, whether you put on, again, Zug doesn't mean a pair, two, a pair of Tfilin, meaning Zug, I mean, it does mean a pair of Tfilin, right? You take in, you put on a, the Tanakama means you put on the Shalyad and put on the Shalrash. Rav Gabriel says you could put on two Shalyads and two Shalrashes. But the, our, then the Mishnah says, but that's only by old filling where you know it's very clear that they're filling. If it's new filling, what do you say? No, no, I do finish. I don't want to interrupt. Right, but if it's new filling, if it looks new, then you're putter. And the reason why you're putter is because they may not be filling. They may be a Kamiya and it may not be Tefillin, so therefore you are Potter and maybe you can't do it. Didn't we right? say in Shabbos that it was preferable to do more than one pair at a time? Yes, yeah, so that's what we're going to, well, that's a Machleik, it's in the Mishnah right here, whether you should or shouldn't. I'm saying, didn't it's going to be the whole long, In the, the, the Gemara and Shabbos, we already had this Machleik and, and they came out that you're supposed to do more than one, one pair at a time on Shabbos. 
right? Well, that's well, it's a machlokes. It's but a machlokes. We had this machlokes in Shabbos. Why are we? Yes, correct. It here? Why are we bringing it again here? Why are they rehashing the same machlokes? No, I don't know. What was in the gay in Shabbos? This is the this is the makar. The gay, whether or not a woman could could take it out of the rishasar rishasar. Right. Rishasar so we're gonna we're gonna the, handle this all the next block next next couple of blot is gonna. Why does it make a difference if it's new or old too? Because if it's new, you don't know if it's really tefillin. It may look like tefillin, but it might be a kamiya and not a tefillin. If it's so new. If it's new, right. If it's so old, or if it's old, already, you can tell that it's a, a pair of tefillin. How are you able to tell? I, that I don't know. That I don't know. We'll, we'll see. The Gemara is going to discuss it. He brings right. down then, then, the Sarosh. You're going to see yeah. the indentation in the tefillin. Where? I mean, because they put it on. Rashi says, Rashi says very clearly, it's, it's Shinnikar Akash or also Kamin Shakai. The Vade Tfilin. And the no, but the problem, no, but the, That's the way Rashi says. That's the way Rashi says we know it's Vade Tfilin. Rashi. Rashi says we know it's Vade Tfilin oh, 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 by Shinnikar Akash or also Kamin Shakai. Wait a minute, but that doesn't, the Rashi, when it says Shinnikar Akash, what do you mean? Why uh, a new pair of tefillin? I I can't say see the kasher and the old. They both are kasher. Okay, so we're gonna have to see. We're gonna have uh, to see the gemara. That's the way Rashi learns his kedusha. I mean, that's what Rashi says. No, so Taisus Arash says that that it's on that a new pair does not have the kasher, and therefore you don't know if it's a kameyu or tefillin. An old pair had a kasher. So even if there's no cash, you you'll recognize that that it's filled. And why are we wearing it and not holding it so you don't carry them? No, yeah, very good because there's no Arab. Very good, so you have to wear them. But you're not allowed yeah. to wear tefillin on Shabbos, so it's like wearing the uh, exactly. So that's mamish the next. What's that's how we get it. This how we get into the this how we get into the whole sugi of tefillin. What's the issue if the tefillin are on the floor? No, it's just going to get. It's you're trying to you're trying to save Sifri Kaidish from Bezayin. Is there an Isser? No. First of all, we don't uh, know it's on the floor. Like Yishver said, it's not necessarily on the floor. It's just it's just that we're afraid that it's going to get lost. Right. It's you know, almost going to be practical because it's almost candle lighting. <laughs> yeah, let's go. The Mashkiach has said we got to go Vaita. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Parents is not only mashkiach for a food, for food, for Vicky's delights. He's also mashkiach. Uh, he's all around mashkiach. It's also Thursday night football, so. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Okay. Matzon Tzvosim. Matzon Tzvosim or Krichus. Let's say you find them in a pile or, or wrapped up, which Agmar is going to discuss what the difference is between them. Mach so there, um, you're not allowed to carry them. Right? Because it's too much. Right? So you just have to stand there, and then you sit there till it gets dark, and then and then you bring them, right? Then on to Amit Beis, Now what are you about a sakana? You can't stand there. So mechasen You just cover them over, and then you leave, and hopefully you'll they'll, it'll survive the rest of Shabbos, and then you go back. No, what you do is a different shtick. You give it to your friend and your friend to your friend until you reach to the outer chutzar of the city. So you make a fire brigade, pretty much. It, exactly, and you, but you don't. And I mean, you can you can alternate. You don't have to have all new all new people, right? You can go, you know, move around and around. Bechain benoy, a very interesting case here. Bechain benoy, noisn lechaveri 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 afilu meya. And if you have a baby out in the field, then you got to get that baby. Safe. So what you do is seems you like a reasonable friend, comparison. Friend. What? It seems like a reasonable comparison. Yes. Yeah. Huh? It's like it's exactly the same. <laughs> right. Like Filling and and the baby. Right. So or you, you put the right. fill in on the baby for Simon. Uh, yeah. Well. Nice. Yeah. But okay. So then it says what's a few may even a hundred. Sakanas nefashas. Otherwise, what's the shaila? Right. No. In a chanami, it would be a, it would be a sakanas nefashas thing. Right, not a sakanas nefashos. That's why, like, it's interesting that they're equating it to the case of a baby. Well, there is. You know, well, like, there like, is also the baby might be a little bit more makele because chay noisei asatzmoi. Right, something alive carries itself. Even even though that's a shaila, whether you say it on a baby. So or not. Yaakov Rashi is talking about a special case of the baby. It's a special what case. Look at the Rashi. 
She had a baby in the field. Dude. Yeah, it's not that all of a sudden there's a kid in the field. She just yeah, gave birth. Yeah, she yeah, she gave birth in the field. Yeah. What's right. his friend doing there by his uh, wife's birth? He's a taller guy helping him out. Why, I so guess. No. Why does that have to say nice and chaver chaver If you're allowed to just switch back and forth, it should be nice and chaver chaver. Right. Then it even says a few Who male, said right? chaver is a male? Maybe it's Ezra's nushin. But uh, but if it's sakonos nefashis, then you don't even need to pass it. That's the other thing. Like, why is it? Sakonis no, because it's not a sakona. What's the what's the sakona? A baby Who's to be it? in the field? I don't know. A newborn baby to be in the field. The mother that just gave birth is, is a sakona. I'm sorry. It oh, could very well Landau, be. Landau, Landau, could... please. Landau, can you tell us? One second. And what, what, if you yes, go back then, uh, what, 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 what are you doing? They do before they had hospitals. What, what do you yeah, think? Yeah, you know what the mortality in... they, were in a, they were in a yeah. tent. Not Hello, in the field. You know they're animals really out there. Back then, people dying in, in the fields having babies. Good, but the bottom line is the baby's born now. If it's a sakona, then you take it. So clearly it's not a sakona. It's not a sakona. It's just karav to sakona, whatever it is. So if somebody asked you, could they give birth at home uh, for psak, what would you say? You said it's totally fine? I say absolutely not. Right. Exactly. Good. Nobody asks you because they know no. what you're going to say. Landau, okay. if somebody lived out where there was no hospitals, can they give birth? Or are you going to say no? Let and their no father, hotel? who's their or who's the husband of the baby, let them take care of it. Okay, whatever it is, whatever it is, it's not a full sakona. Obviously, if it was a full sakona, then it would be uh, then it would you you would do whatever you need to do, right? But again, it's not it's it's not talking about a case where a kid just you know you're taking a walk with your kid in the field and then the kid starts screaming and yelling, right? That's not the case, right? Um, yeah, so fine. A person can even do his barrel like this. He could carry a barrel that way, even if it goes out of the tchum. This is what the Taisus is referring to when he says why this is in Erev in this Mishnah. They told him, what do you mean? The barrel gets the status of the tchum of the person who owns it, right? So the owner can only go wherever the owner can go. That's as far as the barrel can go. So you can't go out of the trum. You can't go out of the trum of the owner of the barrel. The barrel, again, we've said this a few times, right? Your, your belongings can only go where you're allowed to go. It can't go further than that, right? Um, yeah, which remember we said that. I don't that, that get, get if you lend somebody a safe, that was your, your, your case. Yeah. yeah, I think Cheyenne Novak had asked about this, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Right, the, the case is like this I go away for Shabbos and you're living in my house. Right now, my trum is upstate New York, right? A uh, hundred something miles away. That means you can't take anything out of my house because that's out of my trum. Right? How's that for a chumra right there? So the answer is really you're mocking it to them before Shabbos and then therefore it's not yours. It's the so wait when you ask somebody to carry your stuff. Like Naftali Liner or whatever it is, you ask him to carry something for you, right? How carry does that me work? when? On Shabbos. Why should he carry for me on Shabbos? Because you don't, you're, you don't. Getting the storm from one house to the next. He, oh, yeah, but that's not. You don't hold the air. To say We're in the tchum. We're in the tchum. We're in the tchum. He's talking about. Now you don't use the air, but you used yeah. to. Yeah. What's in, what's in the trum? This is talking about out of the trum. If I go away for Shabbos, then, then my house is out of the trum. So if somebody stays in my house, he can't take a chair outside, let's say, if he wants to, because it's out of my trum and I'm far away. Okay, so Zog Digamara. Zog Echad in Tfeila, you can only bring one pair and not more than that. Right? Let's say this Mishnah is not like Rameyer, Dika Rameyer, because if it's like Rameyer, Amar Loivish Komash Yochel. Now, this is talking about. If the house goes on fire, so we said in Shabbos, if a house goes on fire, food-wise, you're only allowed to save three meals. Clothing-wise, the Mishnah says you can put on as much clothing as you want. Just pile it on, right? So why can't you do the same thing with tefillin, right? That's what ultimately is going to be the Gemara's kasha, right? You wear whatever you could wear. You wrap yourself up whatever you can wrap. You can bring there, meaning into the yard um, from the house that's on fire. Right? So 
and that's a stam mishnui ma'adura meir he right. And how do you know that? I'm sorry, it's a question. But he's talking about Madura Meir. How do you know that Stam Mishnah is Rameir? The Ketani Allah, Loi Vishu Maitzi Upaishit, Veloi Vishu Maitzi Upaishit. You can wear and you can go back in and take it off, go back in, take it off. Afilu Kaloyim Kuloy, even the whole day, Divrei Rameir. That is Rameir, right? So, so what's the story? How come there? So we're saying that here it's not like Rameir because Rameir would allow you. To do more, so I'm a rava. I feel the time of a mayor. You could even say it's a mayor. Hasam derech malbusha kichol shavi rabbanon. There, the rabbanon were equating it with weekday clothing, weekday reading, wearing v'hacha derech malbusha kichol shavi rabbanon. Here too, we're going with how do you normally wear it during the week? Hasam de bechol kama de boy lavish. So, and during the week, you can wear as many pairs of clothing as you want. So, leinin hatzala nami shoru le rabbanon for for hatzala too to save your clothing. They let you wear as many pairs as you want. Hacha the bechol nami zug echod in tefillah in here by tefillin during the week. How many pairs of tefillin do you wear? One, right? So since you only wear, wear two. Oh, very good. Leinian hatzal nami zug echod in tefillah. So for 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 carrying in carrying it on Shabbos, you're allowed to take one and not two. The question is: Is this gemara a raya that you should not wear a benu tam's tefillin? At the same time, they wear two. Maybe the Gemara is only saying because they wear at the same time. The Svardim, Svardim wear two at the same ah. time. Yeah. Yeah, no, but the then Pats, you you, you the can Pats say wears two at the same time. Yeah. What do you say? Rabbi, you could say that one of the two is not really tefillin. Oh, now I'm sorry. He's talking about the Shazah. Very good. Right. You're saying you put on the tefillin, but you put it tonight. Like if this is the this is the tefillin, that one's not. If this is right, very good. So, so why that, are you allowed to put it on at all? What do you mean? I mean, you just put on whatever you want. What do you? We said that if it's if it's a kamea, right? right you find if it, it's not you filling, it on, what are you putting it on? Filling, for? What are you touching it for? It's muksa, no. No, he's talking about during the week. You only wear one pair of tefillin, so that's why on Shabbos you could also only wear one pair. You can't put on two. Are you making a bracha when you put these tefillin on? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. The not Typically, people brothers. only make one bracha. What do you mean, like just to save True. them? No, but you're putting on tefillin on Shabbos. I imagine you shouldn't because it's a Suffolk bracha, so whether you should or you shouldn't. Right? Why uh, is it a Suffolk bracha? Well, is, is Shabbos as man tefillin or not? Even right? if it's not, you're doing a mitzvah. Not, what are you not, doing not, a mitzvah? not according to the sheetas that hold it, you don't, you're not supposed to put on tefillin on Shabbos. If you, finish, if you finish davening, Tiakov, then you want to put on tefillin in the afternoon. You make a bracha again? Yeah, yeah, sure. I, sh- I thought Shabbos, ice, ice, we don't wear tefillin. Good, very good. That's the next. That's, that's why. Gonna the why next that... That's going to be the Gemara on the next time. What? Why does that make it less of a mitzvah? It doesn't say it's just your No, I don't think it's a mitzvah. Wearing Lamas, tefillin is still a selfie. mitzvah. No, not if, if you're not supposed to wear it on Shabbos. Adorabu. You might be over on an Issa. Which we're going to get to about Tosef. Well, same thing right. with Shifer. What happens if you decide to blow Shifer? Well, no, you're not going to be about Tosef Shabbos. No, because it's negative Rabbana. But here at the Peretz, it's a machlaik is whether you should wear tefillin on Shabbos or not. Right? Tosef learns that it's about Tosef issue here. If you're going to put on tefillin, it's partially right, it's about Tosef. Yeah. We're going to see in the Gemara that that also that's also part of this um, issue if. Uh, Baal Okay, either way, that's so that's the Gemara's Teretz that it could even be Rameh. Because you're putting on two pairs of tefillin when the Torah only says you should put on one. The Torah doesn't say in Shabbos you should put any. No, we don't know. That's going to oh, be so a So it's Baal like. from the beginning. You want to make it real Baal Taisa? Make it Baal Taisa from the first pair if you want. That's not... It's Shabbos, Shabbos is a machlaik is whether it's Matvah. Let's see Vaita, we'll see. So Rameh Gamliel, I'm a Shabbos. Yeah. I'll... I'll, wearing two pairs of tefillin, Lamaisa, even if it's even if we're not sure which ones they're like according to Sarah, they're not sure, but it's still Derek Malbus to wear two pairs. Be suffic which one's real. Al Derek Malbus, even if you don't want to say Al Mitzvah, Al Derek Malbus. That's only if that's a normal way to, to wear it. That know? is a normal way for according to Sarah, it's a normal way, even if they're been suffic. So even if you're wearing two pairs of tefillin and it's a suffic, which one's which, it's still Derek Malbus. That's how you wear things. You're not carrying it. 
Right. The whole thing doesn't make sense, Derek Malvish, because who wears 14 pairs of pants? The whole, the first part doesn't make sense. Well, that, that, but the Gemara holds it's not true. The Gemara holds because of the winter, people will wear, will wear layers. So obviously the Gemara holds that you, you, they'll stretch that Svara. Right. No, so okay. Said, let's see how the Gemara goes. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how the Gemara goes. Let's go with it. We're going to see. The Gemara is going to discuss it now. The Gemara is going to come with a few pshatim now for the next Ahmed and a half over why, why, what's a pshat in the machlek is whether you can wear two pairs or just one pair. So, right? so what does he hold? Shabbos who, if you hold that Shabbos is the, you're supposed to put on um, tefillin on Shabbos, right? Yeah. So then zug echod in tefillin. Then you put on, you put in one Pair and not more. Why? Because if you put on more, since it's mantfilin, you're over on baltoisif, right? Because over Shabbos loves mantfilin. And if you hold that Shabbos is not mantfilin, umashum hatzala. And why are you wearing it? Um, because you need to save it. Derech malva shorol erabonon. And then vemela hatzala for hatzala by wearing it, the rabbonon allow it. Afilu tvei nami. So then, even more pairs. Put on as many pairs as you want, right? Again, the Gemara is asking, if if Shabbos is a time to put on tefillin, then you should only be able to put on one, according to Rebbe Gamaliel. Because two is going to be about Tosif. If it's not Zaman tefillin, and we're allowing you to save, like just like the house, you're allowed to save as many articles of clothing, so you can save save as many pairs of tefillin as you can. So Gemara says, Lo'elam kosover Shabbos, lav Zaman tefillin, who really Shabbos is not Zaman tefillin. V'chishor Rabbanu lini natsala derech ma'alvash from welcome tefillin. Right? Um... They only allowed you to wear it in Derech Malbush in the Mokum of Tefillin. Meaning you can't just start wearing Tefillin on, you know, put on put on a show rush on your arms and, and put on, you know, five pairs on each arm and this and that. No, you can only save it in the Mokum of the Tefillin. Right? Otherwise, otherwise it's a joke. It's not considered a Malbush. If you're putting on something that's supposed to be on the head and you're putting it around your shoulders, that's not considered Derech Malbush. So i hachi... So if that's the case, and then only one pair, two pairs is not going to fit on the proper place for the tefillin. So there's place in the root and the head to put two tefillin. We'll get back to this in a minute because I know what Rabban Horowitz is thinking. But that's a good for the Shal Rosh that has place to put two. The Yad Ma'ikal Amira, what about the Yad? No, because sometimes a person comes from the field, and he put his he has his bundle on his head, right? In the old days, he used to carry stuff on the head, like the Arabs, you see them doing that nowadays. He takes off his shorosh, and he ties that on his arm. So you see that sometimes the arm, you could wear two pairs of tefillin on the arm. So the Gemara asks, That's only that you shouldn't have the tefillin in a bizayan that you have a load on top of the on top of your uh, your tefillin, but roi mi amar does it mean that it's roi that for the arm to normally have two pairs of tefillin on it? There is a place on the head that you could put two pairs of tefillin. There's a place on the hand that you can on the arm that you could also put tefillin. Tanad ve menasha, right? As, as this is as major as the Gemara as you're going to get. So Al then, Al when it says Al Yodecha, doesn't. Yakatsvi, you froze. As means on. Yakatsvi, you froze. You froze. Hold on. You're up to Al Yodecha. So uh, how am I back on? Am I working? Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Al yadecha zuki virus on your hand doesn't mean on the palm of your hand. It means on your the muscle above your elbow. Bein necha zekodkoi between your eyes means on the head. Heichi and where is that? Amid v'ravyanei makom shemaychi shaltinek rivis. That's the place on the head where it gets soft. What do you call it? Uh, for something. Uh, the soft place with the kid. Fontanelles. 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 There you go. There you go. Right. So that's so basically what we're saying is since there is a regular there's place on the arm to put two pairs of tefillin and place on the head to put two pairs of tefillin that's considered a normal way of wearing tefillin, right? 
And that's and that's that. What do you want to say, Rabban? Yeah, so they so, so they wore tefillin when they worked. It wasn't they were sitting based measure all day. They wore tefillin. Correct. They wore tefillin while they true. worked. Tefillin soft, like you said, yeah. not the fancy word. Yeah. Very good. That's true. They did wear tefillin. They did. Okay. Oh, so okay. what did I think you were going to say, Rabban? About the... using a mirror with the after of right? And in case you remember, okay, should you wear a mirror on your? Should you wear? Should you look at your tefillin with a mirror? So I think, correct me if I'm wrong, the sons, the sons and the... The sons and the Aptarov, I think the Aptarov held you should, you should, I don't remember what it was. Anyways, those that hold that you should not look at a mirror for your tefillin, because looking in a mirror is an iser be'etzim, right? So, but a lot of people look in the mirror. Those that hold that you shouldn't look in the mirror say, why, what are you so worried about your tefillin being straight? The Gemara says in Erevin that there's a place on your head for two tefillin. So kol shikain, one pair of tefillin is gonna be, it's gonna be there. It's gonna be in the right place. Al korchoch on your on your head, it's gonna be in the right place. So there, there's no reason to look in a mirror. So well, right? not necessarily, because whenever you see someone wearing a two pairs of tefillin, I've never seen next to each other. I've seen front oh, and back. That doesn't good. mean so you go super right or super left. Very good. That's a machloikis rishaynim. It's a machloikis rishaynim. If the tefillin, when it says the makom sheesh barosh for two tefillin, is it side by side or is it one in front of the other? Pashtus is it's one in front of the other. How but, about uh, the bas The size large. is also very in play. Oh, the size of the tefillin, right? Very good. So Tysus here says, "Mesupik the re is a sheer yesh barosh of tefillin." He said the Tysus second Tysus up says he was mesupik. How wide is the tefillin? Right, this the yesh ice and gedolim mechaverim. Well, so both of you mechaven to the to the toises. The yesh ice and ice and ketan and beyosa. And with the gomer mokam yesh berosh l'niach beis tefillin mashur the shir ruchavish she yismali mokam hashnayim. Right, that it should fill up the place of the two. Right, so the Hirschmans. What? The Hirschman brothers. They have big tefillin or small. No, They're very t- small. Tiny. Tiny. tiny, tiny. Yeah. tiny. So Tyson says, "Base its boys, two fingers. That's how. That's the size of the tefillin should be. Tefillin should be two he, fingers. Right? He's also minimum he's saying. He's also talking about the Reicha, not the Eira. Mashma from Tyson, he goes side by side. Not that's what's Mashma, right? Yeah. 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 What, Anyways, okay. Shlomo Freiwald, I think, was anti. You right? Shlomo did not like the mirror. Right. Right, Rabbi Yeager's into the mirrors. Well, I don't know if he's into it or a guy wanted to make a gemach and Rabbi Yeager said, yeah, 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 so make a gemach, it's good. I don't think that gemach exists Mach's anymore. What? I, everything was for his daughter back then. Okay. Saying, I don't know if that gemach exists anymore. Okay, whatever it is. Um, yeah, okay, so now that's that. So then the Gemara says, Lema, but Rav Shmuel by Rav Yitzchok Kamiflagi. Maybe they're having a machlaikis in what Rav Shmuel by Yitzchok said. Again, Rav Shmuel by Yitzchok said, that there's mokum for two tefillin, one on the two tefillin on the arm and on the head. How could it be sabbos? Right? Why not? Because it depends how big your tefillin are. No, the way it works is you have a strap that goes around. So the second one pair is going to be on top of the strap and the other one. So, side by side. Why? The strap goes. No. Why? Okay, so let's say they're having machlokes and Rashi. Yeah, he, he's right. What if the they're the same, right. if they're exactly the same size. Yeah. And they're right next to each other. Yeah. The strap of one is going to be either over the other one or under it. Why? Why can't they be side by side? This goes around because the, the straps are going to come out of the same place. That's, if you have it, the bottom. The if they have one in front of the other, or one? side by side, or something. you can't do. No, if it, yeah. You have one bot, one here, one here. Why can't you have? Why? I mean, you could have one. I thought you were saying two different straps. That's what you're saying. It's two different straps. Oh, no, you're saying yeah. two bottom on one strap? Yeah, I'm thinking two oh, bottom on no, one no, strap. I'm thinking that. Okay, that I understand. Okay, fine. But that's, that's not, not the, the case of the Gemara. No, of course. The Gemara is saying saying save two separate, but right. at least but the point is that it should look like that's the normal way of wearing tefillin. That's that's what the Gemara is looking for. I don't know. Okay, whatever it is. How would you make a bracha on two pairs of tefillin if they were being chaitis? Uh with your mouth. Let's go, Yala. We gotta go. We gotta do another half homage. What are the parents? They're not up to halftime. It's halftime, no. <laughs> I'm worried about tomorrow. I hear. Okay. So Leima, but the Rav Shmuel bar Rav Yitzchok Kamivogi. The Tanakama less late the Rav Shmuel bar Yitzchok. 
the Tanakama doesn't agree with him, and he the Tanakama holds there's only a place for one tefillin. But Rabbi Gamliel is like the Rabbi Shmuel by Yitzchak. Rabbi Gamliel says you take in two pairs of tefillin. He holds that there is a place for two tefillin. So he says Loi the Kulayama is the Rav Shmuel by Rabbi Yitzchak. Everybody holds the Rabbi Shmuel by Yitzchak that there is a place for two tefillin. Oh, the Machlokes is where the Shabbos is man tefillin. The Tanakama says the Shabbos man tefillin who the Shabbos is man tefillin. Rabbi Gamliel says the Shabbos loves man tefillin who. And Rav Gamliel holds the Shabbos is not this month filling. Does that mean you should put on filling on Shabbos? If Shabbos is month filling, yes. If you hold the Shabbos is month filling, nothing then yes, to do with should. the field. This is my regular. Correct. I wake up in the morning and I put on filling. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Right. Um, yeah, that's uh, yes. Yeah, so that's the first shot. Second shot. Bibo Yisema, and this is fascinating here. Um, I mean, I guess fascinating is is all relative. But Rashi here becomes like a Toysvis. Or you could say everybody holds Shabbos as man tefillin. They're having a machloikis, whether mitzvahs trichas kavona. Now here, these next line, Rashi changes the pshat based on Akasha. Right? If you, um, um, you see here, the way we have it, is Tanakama Savar Lotzeis Boy Kavana? That according to the Tanakama, that if you want to be Yotze the Mitzvah, you need to have Kavana. Rashi changes that and says Tanakama so, Tanakama Savar Mitzvahs ain't Trichas Kavana. Right? They don't. Lotzeis does not need Kavana, and Rabbi Gamliel so holds that it does need Kavana. Okay, that's the way Rashi. That's the way Rashi understands the Pshat Gemara. Right, based on a kasha that he has. But either, either way, what the machlaikas is, is if you hold that to be yaitza, you don't need kavana. So then for Baal Taisif, it's also not going to be a problem, right? Since it's since it's man, meaning if you hold, if you're saying everybody holds Shabbos is man tefillin, now you're going to put on a second pair of tefillin, you could be over on Baal Taisif, right? But if you don't need kavana, then that's where you're going to have a problem because you don't need to have kavana to put on the fillin. So you're, but you're yaitza anyways. And then the second pair is going to be baltaisiv, right? That's the way the Tanakama says, according to Rashi. And Rav Gamliel is saying that it needs kavana. So since it needs kavana, the first pair you're putting on is you're not yaitza because you don't have kavana to be yaitza. And then the second pair just ends up being uh, is not baltaisiv. That's what one you'll be yaitza, one you won't be yaitza. That's, that's the second way of understanding the machlokes in the Mishnah. Viba yisema the kuliyama. Now we're on the top of tzadik vav medalef. Viba yisema the kuliyama lotzes loy boy kavana to be yaitza. You don't need kavana. V'hacha laver mishum bal toisif kamiflugi. Do you need kavana to be over on bal toisif? Meaning that you have to say hinini muchun mezuma that I want to add on to what the Torah said, and instead of putting on one pair of tefillin, I'm going to put on two pairs of tefillin. The Tanakama so a laver mishum bal toisiv loy boy kavana to be over on bal toisiv you don't need kavana if you just put on a second pair of tefillin then you are over on bal toisiv. Rabbi Gamliel so a laver mishum bal toisiv and Rabbi Gamliel holds that um, you laver laver mishum bal toisiv boy kavana to be over mishum bal toisiv you do need kavana. That's the third shot in Merida. What bal toisiv is like a myrid b'malchus as opposed to just. Doing yeah, it. I think I don't know if he's being married, but you want to be a fruma guy, so you want to add on more mitzvahs than you're really, really machuyev to do. Yeah, but you need kavana to do that. I mean, if you just stam put it on, then then it wouldn't Why be. Why is it all taisif to wear more than one tefillin, but not all taisif to wear more than one tzitzis? Oh, uh, that's an excellent question. How about also the 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 rishonim also clear how come right, right, right. you could put on more? Yeah, if you want to put on more tzitzis. Right. No, right. Okay. Now, Tolly Liner has the teretz. Tzitzis is not pshat. It doesn't tell you mechuyiv to wear tzitzis. It's if you're wearing a four-cornered beggar, you have to put on tzitzis. So if you wear 10 four-cornered begun, you got to put on tzitzis on all of them. Right? So that's that's the answer to your kasha. But what about hadasim and aravas? You're allowed to add chabad adds on ton, right? Tons of them. So why are you not allowed to... Why there are you allowed to add on? So there it's considered noy for the mitzvah. That's what they, that's what the, they answer. It's considered a beaut- beautifying the mitzvah by adding more on, but tefillin is not going to do that. Who's going to have kavana for Baal One second. Who goes first? Who was saying that? Nobody goes first.
Paris, <laughs> we got that a little bit better. Today. Who's gonna what? have Kavana on Baltosif? Who you know? What do you mean? Like already no, like that I'm being I'm over Baltosif. Avrami was saying, like, yeah, you want to, you know, you decide you're making your own religion or something. I don't know if you're being rebellious, but you decide you're being frumer or you're going to be a super Jew or whatever, right? You want to add on to the mitzvahs. That's the issue. Yeah, yeah, that's what it'd be. I think. Kershin, what do you want to say? Never mind. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah okay. Reba is saying, eat the sphere on my fourth territory. Eat the sphere on the Shabbos month fillin. If you hold that Shabbos is time to put on fillin the Kuliyama, Loy lavor boy kavana, right? You, you know, loy lavor um, doesn't need that it needs kavana, but loy lot says boy kavana, and not meaning to not to be over about toys of it, not to be yet to um, needs kavana. With the machlaikis is whether you can be over when it's not the time. Tanakama saw loy boy kavana. The Tanakama holds you don't need kavana, right? Um, you don't need kavana to be yaitz in the mitzvah. If you want to be over when on the mitzvahs, shaloi bezmanai, then you need you need kavana, right? Um, so then, basically, if you don't have kavana to do the mitzvah, not at the right time, then it's not a, then it's considered nothing. So says, according to the mayor, zug so if that's the case, then even you shouldn't be able to put on one either, right? Because that's not this man of tefillin. Void hayoshin b'shmini b'sukkah. You okay? Not only that, but if you sleep in the sukkah on shmini atzeres, right? Another controversial subject right here, right? Chaval, we don't we don't have time to handle this, right? But sleep if you would sleep in the sukkah on shmini atzeres, you should also get malchus, right? Because you're you're doing a mitzvah not at the proper time. But that can't be. And we know that you we do sit in the sukkah. Now, we don't sleep in the sukkah, Shmini Atzeres, but that's for a different thing, right? But uh, we do sit in the sukkah, so why wouldn't that be about so we So therefore, El Machvar, the Kedoshim, Meikara, no. So these, this last Teretz doesn't work, and we go back to the original Teretz, right? We don't eat in the sukkah, I don't know, we only eat there because we think it's a seventh day. That's okay, good, but the Lemaisa, if you're, you're adding on to the, you're adding on. It's a different yomtiv. Shmini a different yomtiv, right? So you're adding on to the sukkah, anyways. Okay. You make a lay shave. So I mean, no, that's 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 all part want. of it. Yeah, that's all part of it. What? What? And then, then what's the whole point of eating in the sukkah if you're not making a lay shave to begin with? I Meaning you're not yotze anything by eating in the sukkah without making a lay shave. No, because you're doing it off the sveik of the yoyma. The reason why exactly. shmini atzeres so is so controversial because it's not about it's not about tosef to 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 just. Speaking of Yoma, it doesn't Correct. That, right. So that, that's, that's essentially that's what the Gemara is asking, right? Is right? this why Hasidim don't sit? Well, yeah, well, yeah, because it's Shemini Atzeris, 100 percent Yeah. Well, yes and no. The reason why really is because they're tiny that if you sit in the sukkah when it's freezing cold outside, then that shows that you're really doing it. Meaning the heter to sit in Shemini Atzeris because it doesn't look like you're adding on to sukkahs. Because you're sitting outside to relax, but not if it's not if it's zero degrees outside like it was where you didn't live for most of the most of the life. Question is, does that apply in places that are warmer climates? Yeah, or if you're 110 degrees on Sukkot, like in Phoenix, same same title would apply. Okay, it feels like 110 okay. here in Boca. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm sorry, Boca too. Yes, Boca too. Didn't mean to offend the Floridians. Okay, so then they let's uh, okay. We could do a few more lines. It's not so hard to go on. Oman Shabbat le Shabbos man tefillin. And who said? Where do we know that Shabbos is man tefillin? Rabbi Kiva. Who's the one that says it? Rabbi Kiva. The Tani v'Shemarta Sachuka Azois L'Mayada Yom Yomima. And you should watch this 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 chayk for times from from day to day. It says Yomim v'Loy Leilas. You do it during the day, and you don't have tefillin at night. Mi Yomim. And it says there are some days, but like Kol Yomim, not all days. Pratla Shabbos is Yom Tovim. It comes to exclude Tefillin on Shabbos at Yom Tov. Tivir of Yosi Aglili. The Kiva Imer Loi Nemar Chazok Chukazu Elulini and Pesach Bavar. The Kiva disagrees that it's only for we only say the Chayk for Pesach, right? So, um, so therefore, 
tefillin. You don't use this trasha for tefillin. So therefore, Rabbi Kiva holds that you do wear tefillin on Shabbos and Yom Tov, because he says this pasuk, the Tanakam, right? Rabbi Yosef Lili says the pasuk is referring to tefillin. Rabbi Kiva says not referring to tefillin, it's referring to Pesach. Tefillin you, you put on on Shabbos and Yom Tov. Then the problem is, it says that Pesach and Mila are mitzvah sasei, right? There's only two mitzvah sasei that if you don't do it, you get chorus. It's carbon Pesach and bris. So the Mishnah says Pesach and Mila, it's a mitzvah sasei, lame with the like Rebbe Kiva. Let's say that's not like Rebbe Kiva, the Rebbe Kiva, because if it's Rebbe Kiva, it's Kiva the Mugil of a Pesach, lav nami ika. Since Rebbe Kiva said this posik of Shamarta Sachuka Zois, that's telling you that Pesach is a lav. So then that's no longer a mitzvah to say that as Kodesh, it's also a lav. Right? Kedurav Avon Amar Rabbi Loi. Amar Avon Amar Rabbi Loi. Kom Akum Shunem Hishomer Pen Va'al. Anytime the Torah uses the word Hishomer or Pen, which is less, I guess, Va'al, and don't, Ene Ela Beloisase. It's a Loisase. So here too it says, it says, uh, Vishomarta. So then, so therefore it's clear that, uh, that that can't be Rebbe Kiva. So Afilu Tein Rebbe Kiva, he shamered the lav, lav, he shamered the asay, say no, it could still be Rebbe Kiva, but anytime it says he shamer, when in connection to a lav, then it's a lav. When it says he shamer for an asay, then it's a say. Okay, so then, then the Gemara has a different kasha. But so Rebbe Kiva, Shabbos, man, tefillinu. Does Rebbe Kiva hold that Shabbos is the time to put on tefillin? But tiny Rebbe Kiva, I'm a yachal, you know, yachal, the tefillin, the Shabbos, we have a You think you would put on tefillin on Shabbos and yachal, the tamalim, the hoya lachala ois hayotcha. Right? This is uh, Itai, this is what you're saying. You put an ice on your arm. Misha Trichin ice. That's only if you need an ice. Yatsu Elu comes to exclude these days Shabbos and Yom Tev. Shehein Gufan ice. They are an ice. Right? So it's clear that, again, and this is what most of the time we go with. The reason why you don't have to, a Yid always has to have an ice. A Yid always has to have a sign on him that he's a Yid. So, um, in addition to Bris, obviously. So, Normally, every day you put on tefillin. Shabbos and Yom Tov, you don't need to put on tefillin, Rabbi Kiva saying, because Shabbos itself is an ice and Yom Tov itself is an ice. Whatever it is, you see Rabbi Kiva holds that you don't put on tefillin on Shabbos. And we were just saying that Rabbi Kiva holds you do. Ela, hai tanahu, detanya, hanir belayla, somebody who's up a whole night. Ratza chaylets, ratza meniach. If he wants, he could take off his tefillin. If he wants, he could put it on. He could leave them on. Divir Rav Nassim. Um, says, you don't put on tefillin at night. So And we're saying that if according to the Tanakama, if you put on your tefillin at night, then you also put it on on Shabbos. So Gemara says, no, Dilma Shabbos loves tefillin. Who says the two are connected? Who says just because you hold it, you put on tefillin at night means you don't put on uh, the tefillin on Shabbos. Tashamina leila Rebbe Kiva. The Amr leila zman tefillin. Who? Shabbos loves zman tefillin. Who? So because we know the Rebbe Kiva holds that that leila is the time you do put on tefillin at night, but on Shabbos he holds you don't. Yeah. Okay. I guess we should. I guess we should stop here. So basically, we don't yet have a man to Omar who says what, how we know that not how we know that we don't have a man to Omar yet who says that Shabbos is um, zman tefillin. Okay, so we'll continue Bez Hashem tomorrow, 10 to, 10 to 4. Yeah, I hope the Olam can try and make it. Fine. All right. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. What's... When, uh, when are you, when are you coming home? Huh? When are you coming home? Uh, what time are we learning? Uh-huh. Do we have about part of What's the story with about Kaira? We need him without him. He does. He's not really interested in doing it. Shanik has a job already, so it's mad. He's, he's not really interested. Doing doing we'll pay him. He doesn't care about money. Oh, uh, good we'll family. I'm, I'm glad, he, I'm glad he doesn't care about money. I'm happy. Uh, so there's definitely a minion minion on Chavez this week. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I think. So. Well, my the my neighbors are quarantined, so they want to make a minion at least on the front porch. So. Oh, it's time to learn to link. Okay, so I'm in. Uh, are they, but they're not counting for a minion, no? Are they counting for a minion? Yeah, because they'll come out on their porch or whatever in the yard. Uh-huh. I'll let you know, Akiva, what, what the story is, the final... Uh, Shafas tomorrow morning? Arrange it. Gershon. I'm not yeah. there tomorrow morning. Maybe Shafas. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not going to be there.
I you won't be there. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Gershie, I don't want to sound like... for you, Gershie. I'm, I'm out also. Sorry. I, I, Gershie, you know, I don't want to sound like... You got, you got a bunch of followers here. Nobody's showing up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I'm just saying, it's better off that I'm not showing up. What if Cuomo is watching this whole Zoom thing? You know? Mm -hmm. you know By like the way, Cuomo's going to be limiting the Zoom oh. now to 10 people. I heard. Yeah. Just COVID, right, yes. And if you don't listen, he'll deck you. Which kids did you get rid of for indoor ten people? What? Six, seven. Okay. Anybody have ten? Anybody yeah. have ten people in their family? Ten. ten. Yeah, I guess that's so a problem, right? It's a problem. I have to first. Yeah. How does you have ten people. Yant of being an ice help if you have to wear the ice? What are you saying? You have to thrill and you have to wear it to be an ice. Shabbos and Yant of Gufa help. What is that? Then maybe you could just have your thrill in a bag. What's the difference? What do you mean? Shabbos and Shabbos, you need an ice. You need to have an ice, right? You have to wear tefillin. To, to, why, what's, you have to ice is on the person. Keser oh, Yitnu Lecha, that's what we say. That's what well, Keser Yitnu Lecha means. Right, that's a different thing. Right? That's our that's ice. ice. Right. No, meaning you need to have an ice. You mean, you're saying that Shabbos and Yom, you're not wearing the ice? Mashain came tefillin. You don't I don't need know, to I guess. wear it. You need two just, ices. I guess you just have to have an ice. In one of the eyes. Right. Right. Yeah, I hear. Um, yeah, what do you want to say, Gershon? Uh, according to Rashi, it's Mashma, the Maskana, that there is no Baltaisa by film. Could he play on it all day or he can't? What do you say? According to Rashi, it's Mashma, that there is no Isra Baltaisa by film at all. When the Gemara says that when a chvar took the shini the meikvaru, you touched it up as just for the last answer. Only, only take out the last two boys say no. Rashi says go all the way back to Zman Philip. Again, what are you saying? Look at Rashi. When a chvar took the shini the meikvaru. Yeah. Rashi says the Shabbos Zman the last Zman fill and who to come in Right. When you going back it, to the original terrace. Right. So that means all of these fall off. There is no Indian of Baltoisif by fill in the cloud, according to Rashi. There is just that's not it. The Isra of Baltoisif for Tfilin would be five partios in Tfilin. Because you're changing the essence of the mitzvah. Yeah, okay, by wearing Tfilin. Correct. Tfilin. Correct. So that's, but that, that goes back to, to defining what Baltasif actually means. Meaning, is Baltasif changing the essence of a mitzvah or doing the mitzvah multiple times? Meaning, we, because this is what the, this is what the, the Acharnim deal with, like the Rambam. It depends on the mitzvah. It, it doesn't really. It doesn't really depend on the mitzvah. You're, if you change the mahus of the mitzvah, then that's Baltasif, right? But if you're keeping Baltasif. the mitzvah the way. Huh? Baltasif. Right. If you're keeping the mitzvah the way it is, and and yeah, correct. If you're ch the, the Rambam, the right, I'm saying the Gra, I'm saying they all go through. That's the big Machlokes. That's the big yeah. Machlokes. So no, what, I didn't what, even mean to get into that. I just when the Gemara said that it is Baltaisif, whatever the Gemara is handling over here, right? right? So when the Gemara finally says at the end, how do you learn that? Because means the first Shaila, or or just knock off the last one. Uh -huh. If you knock off the last one, then wearing is an Indian of Baltaisif. It's shy of Baltaisif by wearing more than one or wearing it the wrong day. It's it's there's a potential for Baltaisif. If you need Kavana, you don't need Kavana, whatever we're handling. But right. according to Rashi, it's Mashma that you go all the way back to before the Indian of Baltaisif began. Uh -huh. That means Rashi's learning this much. Why the Shinin is the Gemara is knocking out the all the answers that have anything to do with Baltaisif. Right. Uh -huh. Right. So what are you saying? So you're saying because then he's Rashi saying that there's no Baltaisif at all. Yeah, so it could be that according to Rashi, it might not be I don't know what he does with Lamaskana, this Maslaikas Rabiasia Glin Rabikiva, but it could be that if I do put it on, I still get a mitzvah. Avada, you're not supposed to find don't because you have an ice, you don't need three oysters, whatever the reason is. But ultimately, putting on tefillin is a mitzvah. And if you put it on, you make a bracha. Correct. And if you don't make a bracha... It'll be according to Rashi. This is Rashi's psaki. You would make a bracha if you put it on Shabbos. 
But if you put it on, isn't that a bracha of atala because it's not needed? Yeah. What do you mean? No, no, it's only a bay no, bracha. If needed. you hold that, you should put it on. Then it's not a bracha of atala. It's only, but the problem is that this. According she to does, what Gary she just said, you don't, you don't need it. I mean, you know, you don't need to put it on at all, right? So you just you put it on, stum, because whatever. And once you're putting it on, you make a bracha. The whole thing is if I take a bite of an apple after I make a bracha, right? And then I make another bracha on that same apple and take a bite. That's a bracha of atala, right? Because I don't need to make the yeah. bracha. I don't need. I don't need it, right? So if, I, if right. I'm putting on the filling when I don't need to, what am I? It might be a It might be an ain't tzricha. Okay. Even that, I, I, if if you're doing your mitzvah, it's not a bracha shein it's tzricha. The bracha right. is very much tzricha. It's only not right. tzricha if you're not doing a mitzvah. But if you're not doing a mitzvah, there's no bracha anyway. I'm asking. But I don't understand why you're not doing a mitzvah. Even if it's lav zman, fine. So Shabbat is lav zman tefillin. That's not an iser of putting tefillin on. Bal is an iser. You're not allowed to put the tefillin on your over an iser. Then, of course, you don't make a bracha. Even if you have a case where, like ours, where you have to take it back. Well, but then you also get into, but if it's not Zman Tefillin, so then maybe the Tefillin's Muksa. Okay, so you were even Muksa. It's nothing to do with the Chiv, I mean, the Mitzvah, the Rites, they're wearing Tefillin. Yeah, yeah. It's not a Mitzvah, Bob, Bob, Vera. Right. Oh, yeah. If you're doing a Mitzvah, <laughs> then it's fine. But Lav's Zman Tefillin does not say that it's not a Mitzvah. I hear. Is this the shot? Why? Why some don't? Why is it? What's the shot that Svardim put on two pairs at once and Ashkenazim don't? Well, if I think that's dumb. If the, 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 you want to be, you want to at least get the bracha. Well, if you wear it at a different time, the Khairi should be making a new bracha. If you hold the Rabbeinu Tam, you wear Rabbeinu Tam after Rashi, right? So if you hold that Rashi is the mitzvah, then fine, the bracha is good. So Rabbeinu Tam is a chumrah. If you hold al hatzad that Rabbeinu Tam is the mitzvah, then your original right. bracha was a bracha of atala, and now what? Yeah. If you wear them at the same time, then you yotze. The bracha goes on whatever. I mean, right. you probably have to be very careful not to be mafsik. But uh, I'm going to try and look at it later and see what the story is with that. All right, I got somebody waiting for me. Fine. All right. Uh, okay. Have yourselves four. a good night. Right. What do you say? Ten to four. Ten to four. Yeah. I don't know how Should doable that'll be, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Fine. All right. <laughs> Have a good night. Cult of good night. Right. Shkaya.